I'm about to see how this works. Yes, yes, yes. Whoa, this is like massively bright in here in my kitchen. I'm about to do this video real quick, you guys. Oh, damn, it's, it's like really bright in here. Okay, I don't know what I did, but the brightness is gone. We're about to do this hair video, you guys, by Wow Ebony. They sent me this blonde bombshell. Thank God the dark roots are already there for me because I really hate blonde roots. But I did um, bleach the knots in it like a couple of weeks ago. I was trying to find like the right hair dye. So I decided to get this Kiss, um, this Kiss one. This is the electric yellow. I'm going to use the other express color, which is the um, emeralds. We're going to do them both at the same time. I'm about to see how this works out because I don't be really doing like these, um, you know, colorful colors. You know, I be like old school girl. I'm not really sure why, but I be like a little bit old school. So, yeah. What do we got this one? Hmm. I'm not really sure what we're doing here, but this is coming up pretty fleek. I like the color payoff. I think it's got to do with this freaking light, you guys, that I got. Do you see that? Oh, child. Amazon. $100. $100. Dollars and it's making everything look nice and clear. Yo, seriously, this is like bomb <laughs> from every angle. Like, because without the light, it's really not that great. So, let me get into this video, you guys. I'm gonna get my setup done so that way we can just record, okay? Yeah, I'm like really like zoomed in. I don't know why. Let me zoom out. Oh, I am zoomed out. Okay guys, so we're gonna jump right into this. So here's the wig, it's a platinum blonde, it has dark colors, this is the tag, wow, ebony. I'm just gonna brush it out prior to that. And these are the colors that I'm going to attempt to use. So make sure you brush out the hair really well. I'm just gonna try this gel and hairspray method that I've seen on YouTube to protect your lace. As you guys see, it does come with a removable, adjustable black elastic band and it has combs and an elastic band adjustable strap in the back too. So like I was saying, I'm gonna try out the gel method and I'm gonna use the Equate brand, which is the Walmart brand, which is very similar to the Got To Be Glue. I prefer the Equate brand because it doesn't get all oily. So I'm just gonna try this out. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube with this and I'm not really sure if this is gonna work, so we are gonna give it a try. The reason why I didn't use the Got To Be is because it seemed like it's separated from the actual product. So I just decided to use the Equate brand. You know, they have the very same hold, like seriously. But the Equate Walmart brand is $2 cheaper. So you'll find this in the gel section, but you're gonna find it in the men's hair, hair stuff section. That's where you'll find it. I'm just gonna take, you know, one of those big, huge popsicle sticks and I'm just gonna smear it all over. And then I'm going to blow dry it. Let me tell y'all. This took a minute to blow dry, like seriously. I think I was there for like 25 minutes. And what I really wanted to do was put it on last night and just let it air dry on its own so that way I didn't have to stand here. But when I tell you guys that it's gonna take a minute for it to dry, it's gonna take a minute for it to dry, girl. But so they say this is supposed to help the actual hair dye run or bleed onto your lace cap, which is great because that's the one thing that I cannot take is when my lace is warm. So I just put it on like a cool heat because if you put it on hot to blow dry it, you'll get all these bubbles and stuff like that. So I'm a very skeptical person. I'm very paranoid. So I decided, you know what, April, I'm going to try some saran wrap. I, I was very scared. I didn't think that the method with the gel was going to work. So your girl was like, what can I put on here? First, I was going to put a sandwich baggie on there. Then I was like, no, I got some plastic saran wrap. So that is what I'm going to do. So the gel still was not dry yet. Like, let me tell y'all, it was still a little bit wet because it just takes forever. So I said, hmm, let me put this on top of the gel. I'm just going to tuck it in where I could fit it in. You know what I'm saying? Tuck it between the combs, stuff like that. You know, that's what we're going to do. And I put extra saran wrap because a girl, like I said, was paranoid. I did not want it to turn the actual lace any color. And I just want to blow dry. The cool thing about this is the saran wrap actually sticks on. Like, it really holds onto the actual gel. So, girl, let me tell y'all. If y'all ever want to try using some saran wrap, it will definitely work. I put the saran wrap heat for the, to, to melt it onto there. I put it on for, like, to a medium heat. And let me tell y'all, it stuck down. It held down to the very end. Like, the last few minutes of me dunking the hair, 
it finally slipped off but i wasn't even concerned because girl i was done and there was no hair dye look at that hello hey look at me and my events to sell so this is from dollar general it's not a expensive brand you can get whatever brand you want but don't get it too cheap because sometimes that might not work girl. so you might want to get a brand so i'm gonna just take this yellow color and i'm gonna just swoosh it all around in there you know i really wish i would have gotten like like two or three bottles of this yellow because it's a very pretty color yellow you know what i'm saying and i really wish i would have gotten like at least two so because i would have really like yellowed it up like more hair dye and less water that's what i would have did but you know i was just going off of what i've seen on the on the tube okay so here i go saturating the hair and the reason why i have left the tail end of the hair out is because i wanted to make it blue you know but i really was not feeling the way this yellow was coming out in this blonde hair like the only portions of hair that was getting like yellow yellow was like the edges like the perimeter of it around the lace those colors was getting so yellow to the point where i was getting so frustrated and it's like a really pretty color yellow but it just wasn't working out in my favor to the entire hair and i really really wanted like this yellow color and i don't really know about the difference between adore and kiss meaning when i say the difference like i know the difference but i'm saying like which one do you guys think is better is the door brand better or the kiss brand either way i'm you know what i'm saying i like some hair dye that's gonna stay so this is the part where i was like well i'm just gonna let this sit in this yellow water and i'm gonna just dip the tail in it girl that did not even work okay it didn't no it really didn't work that thing stayed still like a blondish color okay you guys so this is like the second part to the dye tutorial because that yellow did not take at all. Like the only part that got yellow turned green. So you see when I put the blue over, those were the parts that got yellow all on the edges and in the nape. The rest of the hair did not come out like that. Like the yellow was not popping. So these are creams. So you don't even need to mix them. You just put them right on the hair but you know they're cream so you can't even put these in the water so I was lightening the colors with this that I had and so this color right here is this one and even with the lightener it's still not that light and then this color right here is this one which really is I, I added some color to it I actually added that to it this to it to make it that color because it was like this grayish green color it was not even like this so we shall see how it comes out i'm gonna give it my best shot this is like my first this is my first time what using this adore and kiss stuff like look you know what i'm saying i don't really use these kind of colors i'll be wanting something that's gonna last even longer so let me go get my gloves real quick because this is about to be a project on its own. We feel like making this into a vlog of how to freaking dye hair. Hopefully it comes out really nice. I swear to God, you guys, I would be hurt if it doesn't like serious. I would definitely be hurt. All right. Wish me luck. I'm just going to, you know what? I'm just going to paint it on with this little brush. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't care to see me do this because, I mean, I will try to put it on camera for you guys. So now we're gonna try something new. You know what I mean? We're gonna try this Wella, Wella color paints. I've had this thing of these color paints for a long time. Like, you know, probably like almost close to a year or less. But I decided, you know, instead of letting it go to waste, that I will just use it now. I don't know why my husband is messing with me while I'm doing this voiceover, but that's okay. He's so cute. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to just look. Let me tell you, I took the little bit of blue that I had left and I mixed it with some water and then I poured it into the Wella Cream color paint and this is the color that came out. I was not trying to go back out to the store and spend any more money on any more hair products, okay? It is what it is. I was determined to make this come out right and I feel like using the paint, hair paint brush, whatever you want to call that stuff, is just a lot better than dipping it in. That's in my opinion, you know, of course it's going to take a little bit more time but hey, I'm up for that, especially if it's going to come out good. So, you know, I'm going to just stand here and I'm going to just paint away. As you guys see, the color is a different color, which 
I'm feeling. I really wasn't too happy with the turnout because it was like a it was like a bluish green and then it was a minty green, but there was too many choppy pieces in there that was too light for my for my liking. So yes, girl, I had to go ahead and just do something different. And you know, you guys will see the finished look and y'all can let me know what you think about. But for the most part, the hair is great. Like, it stays soft. I love Wild Ebony. They have some good hair. Very affordable prices. And the cool thing about them is they're really nice. Okay. Okay, guys. So, I finally finished this wig. Okay. So, it came out a lot better than it initially did. Like, you don't see the demarcation like that. It's more like a minty color. I do like the way it came out. You know what I mean? The one thing that I really don't like about like the Adore or the Kiss hair dye is every time you wash it, it just runs it just bleeds and bleeds and bleeds and so i actually ran this thing under water for like 10 minutes and once it was dry and i was curling it it still was like kind of like bleeding on my hand but for a first experience it was okay i'm not saying i'm gonna do it anytime soon i'm not really sure you know how i feel about it i'd rather just use like cream paint hair colors versus like the watercolor because i just know i could get it on a lot better so like i was saying on camera the parts that turned yellow was these portions right here in the back where you can see like the green you know what I'm saying? That was the only part where it turned yellow at. Like it got like this really bright, dark, vivid yellow. And for the rest of the hair, it really didn't take. For the most part, it looks cute. So we're just gonna get into this wig. I did show you guys, uh, at least I think I did. It does come with the three combs in it in here in the front. And then Wow Ebony also sold in a adjustable, you know what I'm saying, elastic band for you because you can adjust this one and you can remove it. And then in the nape, it's the standard comb and the adjustable straps. So this is more or less a 360 hunties, if I forgot to mention that. So we're going to put this on. We're going to put a little music on. Girl, we're gonna so we're going to finally finish this. I decided I was going to put on a wig cap with this no i'm not about to glue it down but then i decided at the last minute i did not like that at all it didn't look good like you can see where the wig cap ended so i said the heck with the wig cap girl we just gonna go without because don't nobody need to be seeing your wig cap okay so i just took it off because i don't really wear wig caps anyway i just don't feel like doing all that and plus i bleached it enough punty the end the, um the knots to where i don't need one but i'm so happy about the edges like they came out really nice i'm glad that it got dark color roots because the girl needs some dark color roots that's just me i like the dark color roots i do not like the roots of my hair to be blue pink yellow orange whatever now just to push back these little flyaways that have been driving me crazy i'm gonna use the got to be volume maniac hairspray this stuff is good because you can get lots of volume and if you really don't want your wig to be on for a couple of days you know like a day then this will hold your wig on for the day so you want to get out your scissors here and cut the lace off. But if you really want to wear the lace on your forehead, girl, then go ahead. Go for it. I say do it. I did. I double did. But anyway, I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to just cut the lace off. And then I'm just going to pull me out some sideburn hairs because, you know, we're going to need that for this particular video. So as you guys see the two different colors, this is where the yellow was. And I'm not really like upset about that because it kind of like worked out it kind of looked pretty you know what i'm saying the color looked pretty but the hairline i did pre-pluck it it wasn't even that bad to be honest you know and now i'm gonna take my small scissors and i'm gonna just cut me the sideburns like i don't really want them that long but it's it's your preference you can cut them like how you like now just to hold down my sideburn hairs i'm gonna use the got to be glam pour styling gel i love this stuff like i don't know about y'all if you like the freeze blast but i'm not really a huge fan of the freeze blast i love the glam force it dries quicker the hold is stronger you know what i mean it also holds curls like girls this is the hairspray to get check out ulta ulta.com ulta in store girl you will be hooked up and once you spray that behind the baby hairs and wispy hairs that I, you see i pulled out you spray that hairspray onto the lace behind the hairs okay you can spray under too you know whatever makes you feel good whatever makes you happy you just take your blow dryer and you just take that little comb and press down your lace and dry it on cool and girl your wig is stuck for days but if you don't have a blow dryer you can just let it air dry but do small sections at a time because you don't want to over saturate i like the color though the color blue came out bomb y'all this this color is like an icy blue i think it came out really really pretty you know what i mean i should have just went with my gut instinct to begin with um i don't really think i'm gonna try the watercolor thing again i may i may not i don't really know i'll I don't know 
but until I figure it out, I'm just gonna cut these baby hairs or wispy hairs so that way, you know, they can look really cute and stuff like that. Like you don't really need to use all the baby hairs that you pull out. You know, we're not going for a bang. They're called baby hairs, not bangs. But if you want a bang with your hairstyle, your girl rocks it. So I'm just gonna brush these baby hairs into place. Yes, I sprayed the hairspray onto the toothbrush versus spraying it actually on the actual wig or the baby hairs because I didn't really want them too hard. It's just the scope. I just prefer doing it like this. And that's about it. The one thing that just drove me crazy about this wig, and you'll see them, is the little bit of hairs, the flyaways. I did not want to put all that wax stick on it because if you put that wax stick all in your hair, it makes the hair thick, it makes the hair stiff. It's not really a desired look that I'm going for. So I just, you know, I'll either use some mousse or some hairspray to tame them. But, you know, for the most part, the hair came out cute. It's soft versus the little frizziness at the ends thanks to the little bit of hairs all over the place. I think that the wig came out really, really cute, you know what I'm saying? But I did curl it and then all the curls fell, so I have to recurl it right now. And I'm pretty sure you guys know how I do that. You really want to make sure you have some clips to hold it, and that was the issue. I didn't clip the hair once I curled it. I just basically let the curls sit and, you know, that was it. But check out Wild Ebony. I'll post all the information below for you guys. Make sure that you repeat the steps on the opposite side. If you don't, you know, you're going to have a half done head. And I don't really want y'all walking outside and blaming it on me because I didn't show it in the tutorial. So make sure that you do the opposite side for styling and adhering your waist. And yeah, I'm going to finish this up and I'm going to get right back to you guys. I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Alright guys, so this is done. This is it. I actually do like the way it came out. I'm glad that they came, well it came with dark roots because I'm not like a huge fan of like blue or greenish color roots in my hair. Some colors I will do without dark roots, but certain colors I won't. But the hair stayed really, really soft. Like it remained super soft. So I do like that the hair is soft, you know. The edges came out nice. Like, you know, I don't really do a lot of baby hairs. I just did like a few on the sides. And the method that I used with the saran wrap actually did work. The, it did stay on, but you need to make sure that, you know, you blow dry it onto the actual gel so that it will, you know, stick to it. So it did last the only time that it came off was at the very end when i was finished dunking it and i was like oh, okay fine i don't know what made me do like the saran wrap i just felt like that gel was not going to help you know what i'm saying i just something in me just was like girl just rewrap just do something extra because i never have any luck and so like the gel actually did help you know what i mean especially when it came off at the ends um when the plastic came off at the end so i was girl look i was happy about that it is okay. what it is. but this is a 360 so you can do like updos ponytails stuff like that i don't know if i would rock this color like this like too often because i don't really do like these bright bold colors i don't know i just be feeling like everybody gonna stare at me and i don't really be wanting nobody to stare but i probably would rock it like if it was up in a ponytail or pull back. I don't think that I would want to rock it like all in my face. I don't know. I just just wouldn't, but I definitely would put it up in a ponytail. So it does really look cute in a ponytail, but I like to do a bun, so let's see how it looks in a bun. I, mean, I think I would have to have it dark in the back too. Like I would have preferred like dark roots in the back also, and I think they should have did that. That would have been a plus if they put dark roots all like in the back the perimeter, then that would have been like dope. 
But, you know, you could always do it yourself, girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, Guys, you could definitely check out Wow Ebony. Let me know what you think of this crazy color hair that I had to experiment with. I love you guys. Stay deep and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. All of the information for this 360 lace front will be down below. Let me just brush it out before I go. So I love you guys, and I'll see you in a soon-to-come video.